is what Team Ghana and Morocco will be confronted with this afternoon. It is mostly cloudy here in Morocco at this times of the year. Humidity is 77% with the wind speed being 27 kilometers per hour. Then the summit, Abdul Summit will be at the left back position. Mohaisin Mahmoud and Shaibu Yakubu will be in central defensive position. Collins Boa, Edubwa in Hayford, Shaibu Abdullah and John Batigi will be in the middle as Jonas Nafo and Al Hassan Al Hassan will we see both countries visiting each other to benefit from uh, football development programs. Last year, the black princesses, the black maidens of Ghana had their share of this particular program and it is now the turn of uh, the black starlets to also be in Morocco. Alassane couldn't control the ball. Morocco gains possession. Abdul Samet, will he be able to stop the man? A long one sent in there, but the ball has been saved by goalkeeper Sevista Eki once again. The young starlets will be able to stand the cold weather. It's a long one sent in there, but referee says it's a corner kick. We've done 11 minutes here inside the first half. It's Ghana 0, Morocco 0. Quickly taking. Morocco in attack. Long one sent in there. The ball has been It's a goal. That was a wonderful build up there. And a beautiful goal scored by. Beautiful goal scored by the number nine shirted man for Morocco. Twelve minutes Shaibu Yakubu. Shaibu sends a quick one to Zaidan. Zaidan Mohammed. Sends a long one in trying to look for Batigi, but goalkeeper. Alassan Alassan in possession. Swift player, but unfortunately, Batigi couldn't control the ball. A long one sent in there. Zaidan has the ball back. He finds Nafo. We're gonna be able to go, but unfortunately, I do why, which, as I told you earlier, is 14 degrees Celsius. Goal number two. Goal number two for Morocco. Ten shattered man. Eighteen minutes inside the first half, and Morocco are already two goals up. That was a nice setback by the Ghanaian defender for the Moroccan forward to put it at the back of the net. And Ghana's on the 17th side, the Black Starlets. A long one taking, but goalkeeper grabs like a cat. He sends it quickly to Shabu Yakubu. Morocco on the attack. Ten shattered man. Morocco. To move. Batigi moving at a snail's pace. He finds Shaibu who shot has just galloped summit summit into the middle he finds yeah shaibu 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 sends the ball to nafo long one taking mule hassan stadium a long one taking goalkeeper that's a wonderful save mohaisen blocks the ball beautifully Collins Boa, the referee has blown his whistle for the end of the first half of the game. I can see that Redwan, Ajaraba, Sufu, and Sheikh Zurkalain, you are all watching the show, unable to win possession. Morocco, number seven, shattered man, turns beautifully. Morocco on the attack, number nine. Will he be able to outwit Mohaisin? But goalkeeper Sylvester. Mm -hmm. 
Loses possession once again. Morocco on the move. But the ball has been taken away by Shaibu Yakubu. Number two shattered man for Morocco. The ball has been taken away. Can it be dangerous? It's a goal. Jonas Nafo. Jonas Nafo. <laughs> Jonas Nafo. Beautifully drives the ball into the net. For Ghana to do reduce the tally. Collins Boa finds Batigi. Batigi tests beautifully. He finds Hayford. Hayford dribbles intelligently. Hayford. Hayford. Tense. But the ball has been blocked there by the Moroccans. Batigi behind the ball. Sends a long one in. The ball has been blocked by the goalkeeper. Up the summit. A long one sent in there. Muhaisin. It was a beautiful drive there from the Ghana center back. Sends a long one, trying to locate Amos. 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 Amos! And it's all over. It's all over.